Hello guys, BrickClick here, and today we have more LEGO leaks, so stay tuned to find out more. If you do enjoy the video, why not like the video as well as subscribe and turn on notifications, but let's get into it. So to start things off, we haven't even seen the release of LEGO Minifigures Series 25 yet, which is set to hit shelves in a few weeks time on January 1st, 2024. But today we've gone ahead and got a leak of the next minifigure series, which doesn't launch all the way until May, basically around six months away, which is the LEGO Space Series. There's been a lot of excitement for this one since we first heard rumors. And today we're gonna go through all the characters, not the best images, but we do get a pretty good look. And first off in the first two, we have a robot human suit for tiny aliens and also a classic space robot. I think the robot and human suits it's meant to be a robot has taken over the human in a suit is pretty cool some nice accessories for some micro aliens and then also the classic space robot will be one of my favorite of the series next up we have a retro space woman this one is based off the design we saw in series 17 for the male version but this time in female also includes a dog which is a bit random and then also an mtron figure which is looking great i'm sure a lot of older lego fans who grew up with mtron and we are a lot of figures throughout this series will definitely be excited and then next up probably my two favorite is the alien and the ufo costume i always tend to love the costume figures and also a great alien taurus will be those two so these ones probably more end at kids still will be cool to play with and collect but also they're really cool for adults and then in the next two we have the alien insectoid and also the modern astronaut the modern astronaut probably the weakest figure of the series is something we see in lego space um in the city sets really and creator that kind of thing so it wasn't necessarily needed in a fantasy one but i think the alien one does look amazing and then one which people are going to be very nostalgic for is going to be the ice planet and the space penguin minifigure and also the mutated blacktron figure two incredibly classic sub themes of lego space so to get modern minifigures will definitely be welcome and in the final ones we have the orange with the translucent parts hopefully i said that right and also the space nurse with the pink baby so the one with all the trans clear elements and the sword and the shield is looking incredible and then also to get a pink space baby it will just people are going to love that one as people love the blue one that we saw in series 24 i think it was so definitely a strong series like i said those aren't launching until may so we've got quite a long way to wait i personally love the space baby and then also the Taurus and the ufo one remember these will be in boxes sadly like series 25 technically i guess even though it is branded under space it is going to be kind of series 26 although it won't be officially named that then we should get a final license one in september 2024 and then this year i've seen lego disney ramp it up with some incredible 18 plus sets and now we finally have concrete info on next year's one this one being a long rumored 43242 snow white's cottage we finally know it's now going to be coming in for 220 dollars so if you're in the uk that is going to be around 195 pound and actually very excitingly this set is going to be launching in just a few months time on march 1st 2024 so in early february we should get official images of snow white's cottage it's going to be looking very similar to what you can see on screen now it's going to include the minifigure of snow white the same one from the disney castle most likely and then also the seven dwarf minifigures so eight minifigures in one set is going to be incredible i know this year everyone loved the 18 plus disney sets so definitely excited to see and see the reveal of the brand new snow white's cottage then we've already got a taste of what's to come for LEGO Speed Champions in 2024 with some of the March Wave being revealed. But each year, usually with that March Wave, we also see a polybag. This year, we saw the McLaren one. And next year is also going to be another McLaren polybag. This one being 30683. The McLaren F1 car will be turned into a polybag. This one will, of course, be based on the most recent McLaren F1 car. And that one is going to be available as a promo. I just found you can buy these in shops sometimes from March 1st, 2024 with that Speed Champions Wave. Of course, last week when the reveal got with the Speed Champions Chemist wave happened a lot of you are asking what happened to the mclaren f1 car which will be the big version within the wave it is still going to be coming as 76919 the 2023 mclaren race car that one 245 pieces for 27 dollars or 21 pound if you need to care that one is launching on march 1st so they're doing it once again where you get the big car and then also a polybag version so cannot wait to see images of those when definitely loving the speed challenge lineup so far and actually speaking of formula one a few weeks ago i talked about the brand new icons model being the mclaren mp48 formula one car Seems in the finalized design, there's been some final changes and it's now going to be the McLaren MP4 4 model, so a slightly earlier version and the more iconic one, which a lot of you mentioned in the comments of that first video. So the premise of the set will be the same, still a brick built Formula 1 car of the iconic car essentially, coming in with 693 pieces and should be retailing for £80.70, launching with all the other Formula 1 stuff on March 1st. We are also getting an Ayrton Senna minifigure with that one. We now know he'll have some custom helmet printing, which is awesome. Also, it's hairpiece and then exclusive 
exclusive torso print in. And there will also be a stand, a trophy stand for him to stand on next to the car. That will include some details about him on the stand. And then there will also be a trophy he can hold in his minifigure form. It's really cool that now doing these icon vehicles and also including minifigures with a little bit of a display on the side. So I'm excited to see that one in March. And of course, as always, if you have any leaks, rumors, early set finds, you can follow me over on Instagram and message me over there. Or you can email me on brickclickerleaks at gmail.com if you have anything to share. And then today we got official images of the brand new Lego Ideas set being the Polaroid camera, set number 21345. It's going to be coming in on January 1st, coming in for $80 or £70, just over 500 pieces. There is some brand new photo elements included in the set, and the Polaroid is only about 9 centimeters in width and 9 centimeters tall, but it does have a little bit of depth to it, probably about 18 centimeters. So it's a mixed bag in terms of how this one looks. I'm sure a lot of people are liking this one, which I've seen online. Just the price is a little bit high, but this one will be available from all retailers on January 1st. So that 20% sale will probably come by February or March. So if you don't want it on day one, I'd say hold out. You can probably get it for that $60 mark. But yeah, that is the next idea set for 2024. Now I want to talk about some final promos for 2023. It's been a crazy year of promos, but the final promos will be House of the World 4 returning. That one is going to be available with a $250 or £220 spend from the 15th to the 24th of December. So just in a few days time. So if you missed out on House of the World for the fourth time, uh, the fourth one, sorry, it will be available one last time in a few days time and also we'll see the final parts pack release this year that one is also going to be available for $50 or 45 spends from the 15th to the 24th of December so you're spending $250 you'll get both of those promos we also got to look actually at the pieces which will be included in that winter time one so a lot of floral elements and botanicals some fencing quite a good one for Lego cities really so keep an eye out for those final promos in the coming days then as the breaking news we got a look at what's coming in the next Lego Ninjago Legacy magazine in around February or March we are getting a figure which was exclusive exclusive to Ninjago City Markets and also an awesome gold Lloyd minifigure. Like I said, that one is launching in the spring. Then in the next Lego Marvel magazine, we are going to be getting War Machine, which feels like hasn't been that long since we saw him in the magazine, but to get War Machine, an iconic character, will be welcome in a Lego magazine. And then I want to talk about Lego City and Lego Friends for summer 2024. We're fastly approaching brand new rumors for next summer. So I can confirm that City and Friends will get brand new jungle exploration sub themes in 2024. So these will launch in either June or August. So like I said, there will be a summer 2024 release it's interesting they're doing both friends and city at the same time tying them in together kind of like they're doing all the space stuff across themes in the first half of the year last time city did the jungle lineup it had some great stuff a lot of brand new old molded animals which i expect to be the same for this brand new wave so look out for those we'll probably have some more details in the coming weeks on what specific sets to be expecting and then yesterday lego finally after so many leaks revealed the brand new marvel sets we have the spider-man versus venom doc Ock. that one coming in for ten dollars on nine pound looking like a pretty cool bite chest to be honest and also some brand new mechs which are always going to be releasing for $15 or £13. So we yeah, have the War Machine one which is one of the best mechs that I got I've ever made. Apparently a brand new War Machine minifigure is included as well. Then we also have the Venom on Mars Morales mech for $15 or £13. This one pretty special as it's the first time we get two minifigures in the mech. We have the brand new Spider-Man's car with three minifigures. That one $35 or £30. So a little bit on the high price for that one. We have Rocket's Warship coming in for $38 or £31. Cool getting Ronin and also Rocket in a minifigure set. But one of the highlights will be the Spider-Man No Way Home set, including our first Lego No Way Home Lizard minifigure. That one, $38 or £31. A little bit expensive on some of these. Then also the Buildable Rocket Raccoon, coming in for $60 or £55. This one also includes an exclusive group minifigure to add to your Marvel collection. Then the biggest set of the wave, the most controversial one, is the brand new X-Men Jet. 359 pieces on that one, coming in for a whopping $85 or £75. This does include four awesome minifigures though, but if you want that one, I would wait for a sale. But if you want my full thoughts on the brand new Marvel sets, there is a video over on the second channel, Clicker Plus, which will link down below if you want to check that one out. But if we get everything in today's video so far, I'm definitely loving the brand new minifigures for space. It's just a shame we have to wait until May for those to release. I'm excited to see the brand new Icons Formula 1 car. Snow White's Cottage has been a long time coming, so to be finally getting it, not too expensive, it's definitely welcome. The point of the is going to split a lot of people on the price, and it's great to be getting Lizard in the brand new Norway home set. So let me know down in the comments below what sets you're excited for, which ones you not. Like video, subscribe, and notifications more like videos and like a news video watch any of videos on screen now remember guys keep clicking and bricking i'll see you all later guys bye bye